I'm hoping you are all doing really well. Give me the thumbs up if you're doing well. Thumbs up. Good. I would like to do for you on this lovely fine Sunday, I'd like to do some art. Who likes art? So what we're going to do is we're going to do drawings, okay? And we're going to draw some simple pictures that sometimes actually look quite hard. Um, so we're going to try a fish. And let's get started with that first. The first fish is going to be a clownfish. All right, let's try. Our first drawing will be a clownfish, as we just said. What we're going to start off by doing, putting the clownfish together, all right? So we're going to start with the body. And let's just draw an oval shape. Like, oh, mine's gone a bit wonky. I told you I'm not that great at art, but we'll try. We're going to do um, our oval. Now, it's a bit slanted, obviously, because the clownfish will be swimming in the sea, wouldn't it? So then what we're going to do, we're going to do some wavy lines, which will be the fins and the tails, and it will eventually make sense, all right? So have a look at this. We're going to do a wave here, all right? Then we're going to do another wave right there. Then we're going to do another wave, which you should suspect... Yeah, that's going to be the tail. We know that already. Then we do another little loop here. Oh, nice little loop. Then we're going to go here because at the bottom, if you have watched Finding Nemo, at the bottom, you know that Nemo has the little small little fins at the bottom. So let's get those. We're going to do it right about here. So we're going to do another squiggles, but smaller squiggles this time. Right here. All right. So that's the small little, so if you see the little shapes that we've got going on, going around here. Now we're going to start with the detail, all right? All we have to do, let's put the mouth in. Why don't we? Let's get a mouth for our dear clownfish. Let's put it right about here. Okay. Then we need an eye. I think we should get the eye right about here. Eye, right, eye, Captain. So now the fish can actually see. Let's just get some detail in with the fish eye. How's it looking now? Mmm. I've got a bit of a face on it now. So let's get the special details in, okay? I'm going to do the details, all right? Bear with me. We're going to do some details here. And then we're going to do another line, which is going to be its... Oh, there we go. Oh, a nice little another curve there. How interesting. Between here, let's get some more lines going on because this is a clownfish. And then remember the colour of the clownfish is going to be orange. So what I'm going to do here is just add some little details, all right? Just little details just to make it more realistic, okay? Let me get in a, another white line here. And then let's get some detail going on over here. And then just down here. Now these lines just give it a bit more. It, it gives the fish texture. Okay. Um, and it just adds to the drawing a little bit. And what I've noticed. I did a lot of reading and stuff. And I realised that you can make pictures out of shapes. You will see this coloured in a bit. You will see the coloured version at the end. I've got next, I'm thinking, how about, we've just been under the sea, we've just drawn our Nemo, how about we draw a cow? We go to the farm. How about we draw a farm animal and we draw a cow? Now, this is another way to piece in shapes together to start off your picture, is it? It is a really, really good way. Let's get started, all right? For our cow, okay, we sort of need a smallish, circleish kind of shape and another stone looking shape, all right? And I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna do, let's get our head. Oh, I'm just gonna do a little funny little circleish kind of. Make it easier by drawing a line because obviously you are starting, you're gonna have to piece all of these shapes together, aren't you? So. 
I would draw a line here and then you would know to draw a big kind of stonish. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. Let me just draw it. OK, this is how I learned to draw a cow. Somebody showed me that if you do different little shapes, you can actually make things out of them. And it's sort of sketching in a way. All right. This does not look like a cow right now. But trust me, we're getting there. Right, let's do another little, let's do like an oval, a small little oval on top of this head. Just like so. And then I'm going to do a circle at the bottom part here. So you look at you just piecing these different shapes together, all right? And no, it doesn't look like anything right now, but you watch this, okay? We're going to draw some lines coming down, which will be our legs, all right? So I'm just going to do a shape there and then I'm going to do another shape mm, right about here. Boom. And then I'm going to do. What do cows have? Yes, you have to normally you have to milk the cow. So we need to actually show that, don't we? I'm going to draw a circle here, guys, and you'll see why I'm doing that in a bit. Hold on. There we go. And then I'm going to draw a line. Just here, because you need the back legs, don't you? And then another line about here. One, two, three. Yeah, four legs. Doesn't look like much, but wait and see, because we've got to join them all together now. Because you've got your basic shapes, all right? And then your details can be added later. So let's add the details. I'm going to start adding it now. Um... Right, this circle, I'm going to make it a bit more. If you bear with me, I'm just going to... What are you doing? You are sketching, technically speaking. This is sketching, guys, because you're finding your way through. going to bring these back legs like this it's going to look so funny because it doesn't actually look anything and when I first started doing this I actually thought to myself hold on what is this I look like you know I've 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 started off worse than how I meant to to go on but no I got the logic of it guys I I got why we do it like this because when you're not the best drawer in the world and when people try and ask you, well, can you can you draw this for me? You want to be able to try and, and say, OK, I, I can do a little something. All right. That, that This is why I started doing it this way. So I get a template and then build up on my build up on my the rest of my work. Um, let's get another foot in here. So I'm hoping that you guys can see the logic behind it too. Because I had to eventually. I had to understand what I was doing. Okay, so we need a body, don't we? I need to build up this body more so I can show you. Oh, there we go. Right. 
I reckon I get another lot of legs, ain't they? Still kind of looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Don't worry, guys. I'll keep going. Okay, it's forming some kind of shape, guys, all right? It's forming some kind of shape. Now, I'm going to just continue adding more detail and so we can actually build up the cow properly. What do cows have? We're going to start doing the spots or the patches, whichever you call it. I'll do mine. I'm just going to do a few here and then just do one on the body here. And then there we go. It's building up. All right. So there you go. What you would do, you would rub out your lines, all right? And then you would give it a colour. So you will see the colouring later with just a bit more detail, all right? <laughs> okay, so what I've done, we have done a clownfish. We've done a cow. And now I think, to polish things off, I think we should go for, go to the mini beast land. And I think we should do, what's that? A ladybird let's do a ladybird okay and what I'm going to do now is flip the camera and show you okay so ladybugs they are quite they, they are easy to be fair all right so let's start off with our let's do a stone we're just gonna draw a big stone really you, you know it's kind of roundish all right and then kind of slanted um then what we need to do, just to split in half, which is what most of you might do if you decide to draw a ladybug. We're going to do a line from here to there. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to take another line through the middle. I've just put a point there so I know exactly where I'm going to draw it. Because it's all about trying to get things right, okay? And, and how you would, would want it to look, okay? So next, what I'm going to do, we just need to do some spots on it, don't we? So let's get some ladybug spots. Okay. I'm just going to 
go and add some spots in there different shapes look be creative okay be creative and do what makes you feel good all right there's no no rule to this let me add another one there there we go right so after that we are going to do some eyes okay do some eyes du, du, du. okay but we need some little legs don't we we need some legs indeed so let's do one here Ooh, one there and let's do one here the other side don't need to see it but maybe you might want to put one coming out here just a little tad just to add a bit of detail now what I'm going to do now, we need to do some eyes for the ladybug, don't we? So let's do some eyes there and do another eye there. Oh, looks like a tired ladybug. <laughs> so we're going to do the colouring at the end. But there you have it. We've got a quick ladybug. gave it a go good for you let me show you now um the final the final finish so we've done our color in we've colored them in um and now i'm going to show you what they look like there we have the clownfish and i've put some keywords there sea water swim there we have the cow you just rubbed out you see where i had my funny lines i just sort of rubbed them out a little bit and added some detail. And then you've got that farm grass and moo. Then you've got the ladybird, which is just nice and simple, really. And red garden spots. It's just nice. It's really nice to just be able to use shapes and put them together and you can create something. Especially if I'm not the best drawer in the world at all, to be fair. Um, so this was just an easier way for me to be able to, you know, man manage the whole image that i wanted but just by piecing some shapes together um but yeah i would look forward i would love to be able to do some more with you soon but i hope you have a brilliant sunday guys all right thumbs up you've been super bye <music>